Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Well, I've opened up a very little can of worms here. So, when the Exotac x reel came out, I looked at it and thought, wow, that is so funky. It's so beautifully made, and it is beautifully made. So, pop for one of those. And for a hobo reel, it makes a great survival reel. Its only downside is it's a little bit narrow. So I made a, a clip-on spool to solve that problem. And I created these little cards to hold tackle. I've been making them previously for my uh, other hobo reels. It allows me to store gear and take it out piece by piece. Oh, that's cool. So then of course I saw Exotac brought out the reel inserts, which I bought directly from them two of these here yeah? and uh, I think the current is three anyway I bought these two directly from Exotac so the real one that came out they were a hundred US dollars I bought it on sale for eighty dollars and I think these are twenty dollars each so a fair investment then I bought a third one with larger lures directly from Grimm who make these guys okay. all sweet and uh, my thought was if I'm not going to use this as a frontline fishing reel, I'll turn it into a uh, survival slash kit and backup reel for the chances when you're not going fishing, but you may get the chance to. They're nice and compact, but oh, because next year I've got the Overland Track in Tasmania, so there may be some opportunities to get some fishing done, but I'm not going there just to go fishing. So anyway, I saw this one directly on the Grim site and I bought their basic starter fishing kit and I got it and uh, when I looked at it I thought gee these clip on hooks which would be ideal to clip directly onto these rather than tying a string through and a single hook and of course they've got the doubles so tested the, the clip on single I assumed it to be weak but it oh, it's holding three kilos Surprising. So I can hold it. Pull on a second pull at so I took one pull at three kilos and fell on the second pull at a kilo. The the doubles it withstood three kilo and failed at about three point five, closer to three point two. Put on three. Well it's holding that solid, even on one hook. Once. Why a little bit of opening up going on, I think. Three times. Now it's opened up a little bit, but that's certainly much better than the clip-on singles. And I'll take the spring scale out and give it a hard shot. Let's see what it does. Ooh. The full-eyed hooks, which are on these cards, Okay, they're strong enough. When I first tied them on, I tied them on with 10 pound mono and I thought my knots were rubbish. You can see this getting me a hook in, hook in the bitty hand here. Well, my knot failed before it did. Oh well, let's reset and try again. Okay, control two. Didn't feel like it took that much tension to pop my knot. I think these sharp edges might need some attention. Uh, anyway, I'll step it up with some stronger line. It wasn't my knots at all. There's an edge on them. Okay. So, with 10 pound mono, which is four and a half kilos to the rest of the world. <coughs> First I tried a pull of one kilo, which it stood did that 10 times, it withstood that then it broke at 1.5 kilo so a 70% loss in breaking strain I stepped it up to 30 pound braid and it broke at 3.5 kilos which is a 75% loss so that's a bit of an issue 
Now, if you're buying something like this, you're buying it possibly to survive with. Yeah, so you could have this and some line, and that's it. Now, the solution I found at the moment is to use one of these little clips, and that brings the uh, the line strength back to its full 10 pounds or 30 kilos. It doesn't solve the problem of passing line in and out of the small ones. So, I've had a look at these using my camera and microscope mode, and some of the holes have a little bit of swarfed in them, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but the edges for where the hooks go on, there's a real edge on it. So I'm debating whether to um, run a, a Dremel with a sanding wheel or possibly a whetstone from a knife sharpener and see what I can do to improve this situation. Now I've spoken to Jordan Grimes and so I was having a few problems and he fully backs up his product, okay? So I'm not throwing anyone under the, boat, in the bus here. But he offered me a refund for what I bought directly from, from him. So he stands by his stuff. But I really want this to work, guys. I mean, I've invested a fair bit of time, money, and effort, and I want it to work. So I'm going to have a go at, um, I might start with a larger one, on an oil stone, and see if I can improve the, the, the line strength, or the stop a line cutting. So anyway, I'll, I'll insert some still photos showing you the edges and some of the swarfs and some of the holes. I've taken hooks from all of the cards, make sure it just wasn't one card, and they all seem to be suffering from the same thing. Anyway, I shall get back to you after I've had a go on the uh, whetstone and see what I can do. Okay guys, this time I won't do the 10 draws, I'll just do a straight strength test. So there's no chance for the sharp edge on the hook to wear it down. There's 1.5. So yeah. Cut again cleaner than not. Mm. Okay guys, I've given it a go over on the oil stone. I've looked at it with the camera. It looks a lot better. I've taken off that mountainous edge on it. So what did we found out last time? One and a half. There's one, one and a half, one point eight. <sighs> we improved, but not by much. <laughs> okay guys, we went from 1.5 to 1.8, so a 10% improvement by sanding this. This here is just one of those swivel clips. So um, same 10 power one of course. Uh, 1.5, 2, holding on 3, as far as my spring scale will go. Once, twice, thrice, three times. No. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the full Monty that. So it's got an issue and I don't think I can fix it unless I put a clip on every connection. Well guys, that time it didn't fail at the knot either. It failed at the uh, the dodgy dropper loop I tied in there for the spring scale. So... Mm. Well guys... Mm. A bit disappointed. So what I found, I've dug through my old tackle box. And I've got these mustard uh, clips for putting on uh, flies on your leader. So they come in about uh, three different sizes. They must be 30 years old, I think. So I bought piles of them back in the day. That will solve the connection problem between the eye and the hook. Um, the connecting to the tail is going to be an issue. I could use really tiny split rings, but it sort of defeats the purpose. Yeah, really small split rings are a real pain to put on in the field. 
So that means that these things won't sit on the car nice and flat and be super compact. I might as well just buy a standard lure. What I find odd, I looked at a lot of reviews of these uh, Grim, and no one mentioned a problem with the hooks. So, I was beginning to think it was just me. Anyway guys, if you like the content uh, I create and it helps you out and make good decisions, feel free to uh, like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time guys.